All right, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Dude Cast. It's been a while since we've done an episode. Uh, it's been like a month. It's been around a month, somewhere around there, I think. Uh, but yeah, we're back doing a, another podcast. This one, uh, not a, really a clear direction. It's just like, um, more or less, just like it's kind of all over the place. I've had a, a I've had a similar episode, kind of like this, where I just talked about like four different things which is normally what a podcast normally does uh like a casual one i should say uh but there's some there's some things that i want to talk about um you know just things i i got in my mind and stuff like that um like for instance what like what if i what have i been up to as of late like i know my channel has like there's there's a lot let's talk about my channel first of all uh there's there's just, there's been a lot, I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs, they're, they're super annoying, um, but my channel, there's, there's a lot going on there at the moment, um, I've started a new series, uh, Universe Mode, which, uh, seems to be doing very well, <coughs> excuse me, that was actually fucking, that was so gross, um, but, uh, yeah, I started in a universe mode on, uh, WWE 2K22, and, uh, people seem to be enjoying that, and I'm kind of glad that's the case, because, uh, I was really excited to start doing that. Um, of course, there was the whole Five Nights at Freddy's incident, um, where I tried to, <laughs> where I tried to transition over into, uh, sister location, and of course, that naturally... Did not go over well, which I was expecting, um, but I said I was going to try to give it another shot, and, uh, so yeah, don't, so yeah, I know there's supposed to be a FNAF video that is coming, but I never came, uh, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it, <laughs> it's still, it's still coming, I promise, um, but, yeah, there was that, um, I'm trying to think of what else. You know, you, you got the whole Undertale thing. The Undertale playthrough, that's doing pretty decent. People seem to like that. I really like that playthrough a lot. Um, that's basically it for my channel. I mean, uh, oh, um, Owlman. Owlman's coming to an end here real soon. Um, and it's not because I'm bored of it. I mean, like, the story, like, this series is reaching its finale here soon. Um, like, I think this next episode that's coming is the big final, like, battle, like, the final fight that's been building up to. Um, and then, like, there's gonna be another episode after that, and that's gonna be just, like, the, you know, the epilogue for e every character, I guess. Um, yeah, so there, there's that. Um... That should be a lot of fun to work on. Uh, let's see here. Oh, so in terms of like not YouTube stuff, but you know, uh, like what, you know, just what, what have I been up to as of late? Um, well, I've been working. <laughs> I, I, um, I've been balancing two part-time jobs. Uh, I've been putting in the grind, man. I mean, I've been really putting in the grind. Uh, I just, I've been really busy. I mean, not really. Kind of just like busy with work, you know, stuff like that. You know, just balancing two part-time jobs. Uh, I just recently switched gyms for a long time, <clears throat> for a, over a year. I was going to uh, Planet Fitness. Uh, and I went there for like the longest time and I just recently, just a couple of weeks ago, like I, that might've been, actually, I think it was last week. It might've been last week. I, uh, switched over to a new gym and, uh, you know, it's, it's taking a lot of getting used to, oh, there's a emergency awesome moon night episode four trailer. Yeah. Um, no, but. Yeah, I switched uh I switched gyms recently and it's been a lot, you know, it's a uh, fish out of water kind of 
you know like it's taken a while to really grow on me and like it's it's just it's a lot to get used to you know and uh i'm still working on it i'm actually planning on going tonight uh after after i eat dinner and uh after i'm done filming this um but yeah um i mean yeah my life's kind of boring at the moment it's kind of boring i'm not even gonna lie um I saw Batman and I saw Spider-Man No Way Home uh which I know Peyton really wanted me to do like a full on dude cast on reviewing like Spider-Man No Way Home. He wanted that so bad. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It would be entertaining. <laughs> It'd be kind of entertaining. Um I guess I can just squeeze it like two reviews into one. I guess Batman Let's talk about the Batman real quick. Yeah, so the Batman. Uh it was a good This might be a little controversial. I'm not even going to lie. It might be a little controversial. But uh honestly, in terms of just like an actual movie, I thought it was I thought it was good. I I enjoyed it, but that's not the controversial part. What nether dude thinks that the Batman was good? Oh, such con- so controversial. Like, <laughs> no, um, no. I I thought I thought the Batman was good. You know, I had a good time with it. Um, the controversial part is though, and I can already see it now. Fucking Andrew's sarcastic ass ty- typing in the comments. What? What's this? Oh, how dare you say that? You know, like he's probably gonna. Someone, or like Andrew or someone is going to fucking do some shit like that. Probably. I don't know. Probably not. I'd, more than likely. Because <laughs> I, I did the Marvel tier list thing. And I was like, some people like the MCU, some people don't. And then he left a comment. He was like, I hate the MCU. So he'd probably be like, what? <laughs> probably do some dumb shit like that. Anyway. Um, no, the controversial part is that uh, while I do think that the Batman movie is good I honestly think that that movie is extremely overrated that's that's what I think because here's the, here's the thing okay so let, let, let me just talk about some things that I did like about it for a second um Robert Pattinson I thought did good the the girl who played Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman. I don't know what her name is, but I thought she did good. the The whole cast as a whole, well, I I won't say the whole cast. Most a good majority of the cast did really, really good. Um, the score, the soundtrack is very, very catchy, and um, you'll pr- you'll probably find yourself humming it to yourself, unironically, like after you're done watching it. I know I did. I I <laughs> uh, that the do 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 like that shit got stuck in my head for like a while and i kept humming it to myself i'm like damn it this shit's catchy um the scene with the batmobile spoiler alert by the way i guess the scene with the batmobile is hands down the best batmobile scene i think i've ever seen the uh when he turns that shit on and it makes that sound when it's charging up Oh my god. It's the coolest fucking noise I've ever heard in a movie ever. In a long time. And... Yeah. Uh, Pattinson, I thought he did good. Score's really good. The Batmobile scene is easily the best scene in the whole movie. Um, I thought Falcone... Everything with Falcone I thought was pretty interesting. Penguin I thought was funny as fuck. Um... Yeah, I just, uh, th- those are the things that I liked. I had a good time with the movie overall. It's still a good movie, in my opinion. But is it the best Batman movie, though? No. In my honest opinion, no, it is not. I think people overhyped this movie so fucking much. Because I heard everyone was saying, like, 
Oh, this is the best movie of the year. Oh, this is the best Batman movie ever made. It's a good movie, but it's not a great Batman movie. It's like, okay, like all this stuff with Batman, when Batman is on screen, which he is on screen for like 90% of the movie. When he's on, when Batman is on screen, it's fucking awesome because they actually, I like what they did with Batman. I I do because they, what they did, like, I like how they made him an actual detective and they gave him like somewhat of a personality rather than just like a vengeance. They kind of like gave him somewhat of a personality. I liked that. Um, but I, I do like the fact that they made him sort of a a detective in this one. I, I thought that was kind of neat. And, um, you know, he wasn't really that much of a detective in, like, the Nolan movies and stuff like that. Um, and in this one he is, so I thought that was kind of cool. But here's the thing, though. When it's Batman, it's awesome. When it's Bruce Wayne... It's kind of cringe. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Like, I don't understand the point of making Bruce Wayne just as broody as Batman is. I don't understand why they had to do that with him. I don't get it. The hair, the the look. Like, there's a, there's a scene in the movie where uh, Robert Pattinson is shirtless. And his hair, his long ass black hair is in his face. And he's on this call with uh, Selena Kyle. Um, which they did, they gave her short hair, which is good because she had Selena Kyle, the character, has short hair. So there, therefore, that makes sense. Um, but I remember I was watching that scene and I turned to Andrew and I'm like, because <laughs> me and Andrew, we were just making fun of. Because Andrew made a good point. He was like, he looks like a bitch. Like, I can't take him seriously at all. And I agreed with him because he does. And um, so I turned, I was watching that scene and I turned to him. I'm like, emo, <laughs> emo boyfriend talking to emo girl. No, it was emo boyfriend FaceTiming emo <laughs> girlfriend or some dumb shit like that. And he got a, surprisingly, he got a good kick out of that. I wasn't expecting him to, but he did. <laughs> and, um. Because that's what it fucking looked like. That's what it looked like. And, uh, like, here's the thing that I like about the Nolan movies. I know people say, like, oh, people are writing the, people are writing Nolan's dick, this, this, and this. You know, the Nolan trilogy was only good because of the Joker. Like, you can, you can say all that. But, I mean, the one thing that the Nolan movies did better than this movie, in my opinion, is Bruce Wayne. Because... How Bruce Wayne is supposed to be, when he's Batman, he's supposed to be broody, right? Okay, that makes sense. When he's Bruce Wayne, he's supposed to be like this billionaire, this famous billionaire that's known by everyone in town. And yeah, he's known by people in town in this movie. But when you look at look at Christian Bale in the Nolan movies, right? He's got a he's got a suit on. His hair's all done. Uh, he looks like he just took a shower. You know, he doesn't look dirty. He doesn't have like, he's not grimy. He's not emo, anything like that. He looks like the typical guy that you would see at like a fancy restaurant or like in a political debate or something, right? That's what Bruce Wayne is supposed to look like. This guy looks like, <laughs> this Bruce Wayne from the Batman looks like fucking, uh, Looks like he listens to nothing but Falling in Reverse and My Chemical Romance, and that's it. Like, he looks like he had, a like, an angsty teenage stage and then just never grew out of it. And then just decided, I'm Batman. Which, I mean, you don't have to do the backstory. You don't have... We've, we've seen the backstory, like, a million fucking times. We don't need to see it again. And I'm glad we didn't see it again. <clears throat> but the point the point of it is that it's supposed to be a mystery. Well, I mean, like... Not to us, not the obviously the audience knows Bruce is Batman. Everyone knows that, but like to everyone who's like in the 
the movie or the show or whatever. Everyone in Goth- nobody in Gotham knows that Bruce Wayne is Batman. But if I was in this universe and I saw this version of Bruce Wayne just walking down the street, I'd probably think to myself, you know what? I bet that guy's Batman. I don't know. I just, I got a hunch. <laughs> I got a hunch. I'm thinking that maybe that guy right there is maybe Batman. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like that. I just, I mean, <sighs> when he's Bruce Wayne, I know I said it's cringe, but like his performance as Bruce Wayne is good. Like it's, it's fine. Um, it's just as good as his Batman one, but that's the thing though. There's not really that much of a difference though. And there really should be. And I felt like there really should have been a difference and that really didn't feel like there was another thing that I was not really huge on was, uh, the fucking Riddler dude. What the fuck was the Riddler supposed to be like when I think of the Riddler, right? Like when I think of the Riddler, I think of a guy in a green jumpsuit with purple question marks all over it and a, maybe a hat. That's the Mad Hatter, though. <laughs> That's not the Riddler. The Riddler has a green jumpsuit with purple question marks on it, you know? And, like, the purple face mask, you know? Like, like his model from Lego Batman, you know? Like, do you remember Lego... If you don't remember... If you don't remember Lego Batman, what the fuck's wrong with you? Like, <laughs> but no. No. In all seriousness, though. Like, when I think of the Riddler, I think of, like, Jim Carrey's the R- Riddler. Like, from Batman... What was it? Batman Forever? One of those older Batman movies. The one before uh, Batman and Robin. You know, the really fucking awful one with George Clooney in it. Um, But, like, where was I going with that? I don't know if I should blame the actor or if I should blame the direction. Because the actor, you can definitely tell he's trying. I don't know who he is. But... I, again, you know, I don't know if it's the the actor, if it's the direction, but the Riddler was unintentionally hilarious in some things, because like it's just a a dude who like FaceTimes people and he's just like when he, like he's just like shut up. like when I uh, like the scene where um God I don't know who it is but I don't remember his name but. He's got the, he's got this bomb wrapped around his neck, and it, the only way Riddler will let him escape is if he like gets his riddle right. And Batman's there helping him, trying to get the riddles right. And uh, there's a part where he's freaking out, where the guy oh TikTok oh, no, but he doesn't say he doesn't say that. Um, but like he's freaking out, and then the Riddler's just like shut up, shut up, like. I was like, okay, okay, come on, like, really? Like, he said, like, was it Jaden that said it? I think it was Jaden that said it. Like, he looked, it was either Jaden or Josh, it was one of the two, but basically one of them said that he looked like an autistic, like, Redditor. Like, that's basically how he acted. And that is kind of how he acted, because, like, in the scene where he's getting interrogated by Batman, and he's just like, no no like i was laughing like i was i was not supposed to be laughing but i was and i don't know if it's because my friends were there or not i i don't know but i was laughing while that was happening he just he overacted so much and again i don't know if that's the the actor or the direction i don't know but i did not like it i thought it was fucking hilarious for the wrong reasons and it should not have been I don't know. I just I didn't like the Riddler in this movie. Um, he did some cool things, but like, he was not intimidating at all. He was not. Uh, yeah, he just he was not intimidating in the slightest bit, even when he tried to be. It was it just it came off as laughable when he tried to. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, that that tones down this movie for me. Also, and it's and it's. Uh, a little too long, in my opinion. It, uh... Because they're, they're... It's like the Lord of the Rings thing, right? Where, like, it... 
it feels like like once it's getting towards the end you feel like it could have ended like five different times and that's how i felt towards the end like it just it was getting to the end and it felt like i was like oh it's gonna be over after this scene and then it would just cut to another scene i was like oh well surely this will be the end and then it just kept going i was like oh this movie's long like i knew this i knew this movie was long going into it but i didn't realize how fucking long it was going to be it's like with lord of the rings you know it's like lord of the rings is like notorious for being long as shit and just not ending you know like it takes forever to wrap up and that's what this movie does it takes forever to wrap up um but yeah so those like those criticisms that i have kind of tone the movie down for me i still had fun with it overall i'm still glad that i saw it i'm still glad that i went and watched it and i think watching it with friends really helped a lot because it made it a lot more enjoyable <laughs> i still enjoyed it though overall but um yeah if i was to rank it uh batman from like one out of ten you know something like that i would give the batman a solid seven out of ten i think that's fair i'll give it a solid seven out of ten that's that's my that's my review for the batman now as for spider-man no way home um i'm gonna sound like a marvel fanboy and i'm gonna sound super biased towards marvel i don't care um i thought no way home was better not (sighs) I don't know. I just, I hate comparing superhero movies in general. Like, can't we just, like, I hate the fact that people are trying to make it into like this war kind of thing where it's like, you either like DC or you like Marvel. Why can't you just like both? You know, like, I don't know. I just, I like Marvel. I like DC. I don't see a reason to really pick sides. I like Batman just as much as I like Spider-Man, you know, like, I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, yeah, but I, I like, like in terms of which movie I enjoyed better, I enjoyed Spider-Man more because I just thought it was the better movie. That's, that's just my opinion. And, you know, people can say otherwise, um, which I'm curious to, to anyone that's listening. I'm curious to know like what your opinion is on that. Like the whole superhero DC's better, no Marvel's better or like, you know, stuff like that in general. Um, or like in your opinion, which movie like Spider-Man or Batman, which one was better and like, what's your reason for why, you know, just, just stuff like that, you know, um, as to why I think Spider-Man is the better movie, I just the theater, like I had a good theater experience with both movies, but, um, I think, I think it's just because I was more hyped for Spider-Man than I was Batman. I think that's the difference because my friends and I, we went to go see both of these movies. And I can tell you right now, when we went to Spider-Man, nobody was talking. We were talking a lot through Batman. In Spider-Man, we were not talking. We barely spoke. We barely spoke because we were fucking excited for that movie. And it did not disappoint. And I, wa- I just recently watched that movie back, too. I just recently watched it back, and it is just as good as I remember it. And I know some people say, you know, oh, Tom Holland is terrible, Marvel is terrible, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter, because this movie fucking, it's fucking awesome. In in my opinion, it's top three Marvel movies, for sure. Um, Yeah, and, uh, you know, you got Doctor Strange coming out next month that's going to be very interesting i'm very curious to check that out um and i think the the reason why um the reason why i'm excited for more marvel movies than i am dc is because dc dc's been getting really better as of late like they've been like the suicide squad uh what the fuck else did they have recently that was really good peacemaker they had the the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker. Grant, I haven't seen those, but I do want to. I really want to see the Suicide Squad. Um, they've been they've been on a path to sort of redeeming themselves a little bit. Um, they had some diamonds there here and here and there, like Wonder Woman. I 
I enjoyed Wonder Woman. I actually really did enjoy Wonder Woman. I thought that movie was pretty solid. Um, I actually liked Man of Steel. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I actually did like it. I actually liked Man of Steel. I watched it with my my parents when it released, and I thought it was good. I actually enjoyed it. And uh, I'm trying to think of what <laughs> it's, I I um. What was the last DC movie I watched? I think it was Justice League. Not the Snyder Cut, which I wanted to see that as well, but I never did. It was the original uh, Justice League. the, Or should I say the Justice League. That was the last proper DC movie I watched. Ever since then, I have not watched a single one. So uh, I haven't seen Aquaman. I haven't seen Shazam. Um, I haven't seen The Suicide Squad. But uh, I heard Aquaman was surprisingly better than what people thought it was going to be, but it's still not that great. Um, I heard Shazam was also surprisingly really good, and it looks like it's funny as fuck. And I heard Suicide Squad was really good, which I expected that to be the case, because James Gunn was the director, so I was kind of expecting that. Um, What I was not expecting, however, was uh, John Cena. Fucking John Cena. My childhood idol is playing a fucking DC supervillain and is saying fuck like every five scenes that he's in. And uh, I've seen clips from that show and it just, it looks amazing. (laughs) It looks so good. I want to see it. Um, But yeah, like they've they've been on the come up a little bit. Uh, But... I think with this Flash movie that's coming up, I think the Flash movie is rebooting everything, which honestly is probably not a good is not a bad idea. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. I think it should be rebooted. Um but yeah, like for Spider-Man, I've seen like I've seen every Marvel movie. <laughs> I've seen like literally every Marvel movie. Um and Spider-Man easily again top 3 Marvel movies in my opinion. Um it's paced really well. It's funny. It's emotional it's sad (laughs) but um it's it's just it's a great movie in my opinion and yeah i think you should check out both movies i i do i really think you do you should um but uh yeah that um that's my i guess my rant (laughs) on the you know, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think I can call that up. It's gonna be short, but I mean, like, I think that's a good enough for an episode. That was my rant on the Batman and Spider Man. I know I didn't go really much into detail with Spider Man. That's because I just I don't got much to complain about with Spider Man. Um, I'm actually really curious to see where that goes. And, you know, again, Doctor Strange is coming out. I'm going to check that out. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to what Marvel has in store. And uh, I'm hoping that DC can also be on the come up as well and start making some good stuff like they have been as of late. Uh, that that could be pretty interesting. It could be. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments section what, what your thoughts are about that. And uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed... Uh, Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.